Super abrasive machining is best described as grinding at machining rates. The use of abrasive wheels means that, technically speaking, it's grinding. But practically speaking, it's a machining process given the speed at which material can be removed. Therefore, it is not grinding or machining, but rather grinding at machining rates. Here's another great example of Sammy's ability to reduce manufacturing costs. To produce this component, super abrasive machining removes heat treated material with a roughing wheel, then completes the cut to tight tolerance with a finishing wheel, all in the same setup. Until the introduction of super abrasive machining, such a processing sequence required machining prior to heat treat to remove the material required to create a robust compaction design before using grinding of the two journal diameters for tolerance and surface finish control. This sprocket represents the power of super abrasive machining when combined with PM net shaping capability. The initial design philosophy for this component was to use the PM net shaping capability to add a magnetic timing inducer to this sprocket in a two-piece braised design. By using PM with super abrasive machining, the two-piece design was transformed to a one-piece design. In addition, the one-piece construction allowed the conversion from a quench heat treat process to center furnace hardening. The combination of these changes and improvements drove a cost reduction of over 33% compared to the earlier process. This component represents a typical early application of super abrasive machining. With the advent of increasingly complex automotive engine timing drives, the geometry of the chain sprockets became much more complicated. Once again, by manufacturing two sprockets that were then assembled on the drive shaft, the introduction of super abrasive machining reduced component manufacturing costs that were lowered even further by the introduction of center furnace hardening and a substantial decrease in kitting and assembly problems. When properly applied, super abrasive machining allows PM compaction geometry to be greatly simplified and production costs to be significantly reduced. Here's a good example. In the past, the grooves between the first and second sets of sprocket teeth would have been created with a center point machining of the interrupted cut. Now, that groove can be formed quickly and easily by a super abrasive machining wheel, which allows the compaction die to be simplified and those control, setup, and maintenance costs to be reduced. These are just a few examples of the ways that super abrasive machining can improve quality and reduce costs. There are many other upstream PM process savings shown here. As you can see, super abrasive machining simplifies both tooling and compacting, which leads to lower scrap rates and fewer finishing steps.